welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another interesting integral question uh, this is uh, 1884 math triforce question from uh, university of cambridge okay how to begin well first uh, here we have 0 to infinity sine of x over x so well known integral i think uh, you can easily integrate it so we know sine of x over x dx also uh, second integral this is also a very easy integral and well known integral so i think you can integrate uh, these integrals uh, so if we integrate we know the answer is pi over 2 so in this video i am going to use uh, this fact uh, without uh, evaluating because well known integral so now here we have 0 to infinity sine of x over x raised to the 3 power okay mm, so i am going to define a function so if we take f of a is equal to integral from 0 to infinity uh, sine to the third power of a x over um, here x cube so x cube dx okay then uh, if we plug in one here if we plug in one f of one is equal to uh, zero to infinity uh, we know sine of x over x raised to the three power of dx so we will have our original integral okay now here f of a so now we are going to differentiate so if we differentiate this <coughs> we can write uh, f dash of a is equal to integral from 0 to infinity now according to power rule 3 times uh, sine square of ax three times sine square of ax now uh, according to chain rule derivative of sine function so we know cosine of ax times again according to chain rule derivative of uh, sorry coefficient of a so we know here yeah, x and in the denominator we have x cube dx okay then we know this x get cancelled and here now we have here 3 is a constant so we can write outside of the integral sign here 0 to infinity now here um, sin square of ax so i am going to write here 2 times so here i multiply by 3 2 so divided by 2 so here we can write now sine of ax cosine of ax so then here we have again sine of ax here x get cancelled so x square dx okay then we know uh, this is double angle formula so we can write now here 3 over 2 integral from 0 to infinity now sine of 2 times ax sine of ax over x square dx okay then mm, again we can uh, use trigonometric formula so I'm going to multiply by 2 so divide by 2 so now we have 3 over 4 integral from 0 to infinity now uh, for this part we can write uh, difference of uh, cosine function so we know cosine of now 2ax minus ax so ax uh, here minus cosine of now 2ax plus ax so 3 times ax over x square dx okay then uh, 
we can split this integral into two different integrals so we can write 3 over 4 integral from 0 to infinity cosine of ax over x squared dx minus again 3 over 4 so 3 over 4 integral from 0 to infinity cosine of 3 ax over x square dx well then um, I'm going to uh, okay again we can differentiate so we can write f double dash of a is equal to now uh, derivative of cosine function we know minus so here minus 3 over 4 integral from 0 to infinity now here uh, derivative of cosine function so minus sine of sine of a x times x uh, times x but here x square so x get cancelled so here we have sine of a x over x dx uh, here again minus so minus minus plus 3 over 4 integral from 0 to infinity where here also we have sine of 3 a x and we should multiply by 3 so here again 3 uh, and x get cancelled so sine of 3 a x over x d x well now um, uh, f double dash of a is equal to minus 3 over 4 now sine of a x over x from 0 to infinity okay well known integral and we know the answer is pi over 2 so pi over 2 plus 9 over 4 times pi over 2 okay if we simplify this we know this is equal to 3 times pi over 4 okay now we have f double dash of a is equal to 3 times pi over 4 now we can integrate with respect to a so if we integrate here we have f dash of a is equal to 3 times 5 over 4 uh, times a uh, plus c1 but uh, if we find f dash of 0 f dash of 0 we know here f dash of a so f dash of 0 we know 0 so we know c1 also equal to 0 ok now here uh, we, this is equal to 0 and now we can integrate again with respect to a so f of a is equal to now we know here a square over 2 so 3 pi a square over 8 plus c2 but uh, if we uh, plug in 0 here f of 0 we know f of 0 also equal to 0 and we know c2 also equal to 0 therefore f of a is equal to 3 times pi a square over 8 so if we plug in 1 here f of 1 is equal to we know 0 to infinity sine of x over x raised to the 3 power of dx is equal to here 1 so 3 pi over 8 ok then uh, we should evaluate uh, sine of x over x raised to the 4 power ok so um, now uh, I am going to define again integral f of p is equal to 0 to infinity uh, sine raised to the 4 power of px over x to the 4 power dx well uh, sorry well now uh, again we are going to differentiate so with respect to p so here f dash of p is equal to we know here 0 to infinity now 4 times sine raised to the 3 power of px again according to chain rule derivative of sine we know cosine of px times x over x raised to the 4 power here dx okay then um, integral from 
0 to infinity here x we know get cancelled and uh, here we have x cube and then um, we can take here 2 times sine of px cosine of px so we know 2 times sine of px cosine of px double angle formula and here uh, also 2 so 2 times uh, sine of double angle formula so sine of 2 px and here sine of uh, sine square of px so here sine square of px and here x cube t x okay then um, integral from 0 to infinity uh, here 2 times sine of 2 px so 2 times sine of 2 px times now uh, instead of sine square of px i'm going to write uh, 1 minus cosine of 2 px over uh, sorry here 2 px over 2 over x cube dx now we know this 2 get cancelled and we can multiply so here we can write 0 to infinity sine of 2 px over x cube dx minus integral from 0 to infinity uh, here we have now sine of 2 px times cosine of 2 px so again we can use double angle formula so 1 over 2 times sine of 4 times px over uh, here uh, x cube dx okay then um, again we can differentiate so here uh, now f double dash of p f double dash of p is equal to now integral from 0 to infinity uh, here we know uh, derivative of sine function we know cosine of 2 px so cosine of 2 px uh, times 2 times x but x get cancelled so here x square and 2 so 2 we can write outside of the integral sign and here uh, minus one half so here i'm going to write zero to infinity sine of four times px we know derivative cosine of four px uh, times four times x so x get cancelled x square so four times one half we know minus two here dx okay then uh, we can differentiate again so third derivative so f triple dash of p is equal to now uh, 0 to infinity if we uh, differentiate cosine function we know minus sine of so here sine of uh, 2px sine of 2px times 2 times x so here 4 so we know minus sign so minus 4 over x get cancelled and sine of 2px over x dx here minus 0 to infinity derivative of cosine function we know minus so here plus uh, also we should multiply by 4 times x so 4 times 2 here 8 so sine of 4 times px over this x get cancelled so x d x okay then <coughs> this is again we know well known integral so we know f triple dash of p is equal to minus 4 times this is also you know 5 over 2 plus 8 times here this is also pi over 2 and if we simplify this we know 8 times 5 4 times 5 4 times 5 over 2 so 2 times pi <coughs> okay then uh, then we can write uh, f f triple dash of p is equal to 2 times pi so now we can uh, integrate with respect to p so we can write f double dash of p f double dash of p is equal to uh, <coughs> two times um, 
yeah, 2 times pi p uh, plus c1 but uh, if we plug in 0 if double dash of 0 if double dash of 0 we know uh, 1 over x square 1 over, so this is also equal to 0 so we know c1 also equal to 0 okay now uh, this is equal to 0 then if we integrate again uh, with respect to p we know if dash of p is equal to here pi times p square over 2 to get cancelled so pi times p square uh, plus c2 but if we take uh, f dash of 0 f dash of 0 we know again this is equal to 0 so therefore c2 also equal to 0 so now this is equal to 0 now if we integrate again f of p is equal to uh, pi p q over 3 plus c3 uh, but if we take uh, f of 0 f of 0 f of 0 we know 0 so also c3 also equal to 0 therefore f of p is equal to pi times p raised to the 3 power over 3 now uh, if we take f of 1 f of 1 we know 0 to infinity uh, sin of x over x raised to the 4 power of dx and we know this is equal to pi over p is equal to 1 so pi over 3 okay then uh, we can write now uh, we know pi over 2 is equal to integral from 0 to infinity sin of x over x dx and also we know 0 to infinity sin square of x over x square dx and also we can write here capital A times 0 to infinity uh, sin of x over x raised to the third power of uh, dx and also this is equal to integral from 0 to infinity are uh, here constant so b uh, sin of x over x raised to the 4 power of dx okay now here we know we can now calculate a and b so pi over 2 is equal to uh, a times sin of x over x raised to the 3 power we know this is equal to uh, 3 pi over 8 so 3 pi over 8 so we know here a is equal to 4 over 3 and also we can find b so pi over 2 is equal to uh, b times pi over 3 so b is equal to 3 over 2 so now we can write uh, pi over 2 is equal to integral from 0 to infinity sine of x over x dx and also 0 to infinity sine square of x over x square dx and also here now a is equal to 4 over 3 so 4 over 3 integral from 0 to infinity sine of x over x to the third power of dx times sorry is equal to b is equal to 3 over 2 integral from 0 to infinity sine of x over x raised to the 4 power of dx okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching